Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so today we are going to be showcasing the new Thousand of Hours from Sue Meninas. And I think she is my favorite of the entire banner. Uh, if you don't know, post her summons today. And as you can see, there is someone missing, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we ended up getting Candice. Bro, oh, she looks so short. Oh my god, look at Manina next to Candice is crazy. She's an entire head taller. Jesus. Uh, but yeah, let me know down below. Uh, how did your summons go? Uh, did you pull who you wanted? And uh, let me know your favorite of the three. I personally think it's probably going to be Manina's. But um, let's go over her kit. So she is a... I actually forgot. She's a ranged uh, Quincy killer. So not bad. She might be useful in ranged Quincy GQ. Potentially. Probably not. But she has potential, I guess. Uh, she has Sprinter plus one. Uh, Guard Rake plus Pierce Iron Skin. She also has the Havoc skill. Also, she has a SU2 Barrier and Heal. I'm pretty sure that's a heal. I can never remember. Yeah, she has Medic, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then she has Increased Strong Attack Damage plus 50%. Uh, reduced Strong Attack Cooldown minus 12%. Uh, shared Complete Status Immunity uh, plus 100%. Increased Coin Drop, which is my like biggest gripe with her. I really wish it was Droplets. I need more Droplets versus Coins. I, I, I like never need Coins in this game. So it's unfortunate. Uh... But then she has the increased super heart link slot potion plus 10, 5 from her soul trait, and then 5 from her skills. Uh, increased heart link slot potion plus 5, a frenzy plus 2, and then increased damage to enemies not affected by an ailment. I ended up giving her long shred as well, so that way she feels better to use. Uh, she has multi barrier, and then medic, and then I gave her SP. Uh, she's only 1 out of 5. Uh, and if I try her in Epic Rage, I will probably end up giving her a weakened defense. Just, a, just to clarify. So yeah, let's just take her into. Uh, solo IT just to show her off. I know she'll do really really well no matter what But I want a little bit of time to just try out her strong attacks and get used to the kit And then we'll go into co-op IT and solo that all right And so for the build we're gonna be going in with the Kate fastener fortification pill and then the Quincy cross all with 30% SP and then I'm bringing the Ichigo which has damage to enemies not affected by an ailment for 6% and recharge a full stam and recharge link and then full stam and recharge and then obviously I still have a uh, full stamina damage and uh long all right i just checked I, I i changed her skills to full stamina damage and long shot i thought it was full stamina and long shot but it was sp whoopsies either way let's uh hop right on in all right so her nad string okay not terrible looks like and then it's like an sa2 lunge and then obviously the sa3 is a full screen i also like the barrier looks, looks pretty fruity you know what i mean uh, nad string Nothing too crazy, it's a swimsuit character. I don't think their visuals are ever like incredibly outstanding. It's fairly, like, fairly generic. But, I mean, so far the SA1 doesn't seem to be bad. Uh, let's see what the SA2 looks like. Yeah, it looks like true Shikai Ichigo's SA2, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, the one bad thing is it's range collision, so obviously it's not gonna like hit multiple waves like that, because if you hit a wave towards the end of the map and then they spawn behind you, or like back closer to you, it's not gonna hit them is like my only gripe but i mean it's not terrible it's it, it definitely could be worse like i remember the power starks sa1 oh my goodness that thing is like the worst strong attack in the entire game i keep running away from the uh status elements but i forgot i don't have to i am completely immune which is very nice i'll just tank that i have a shield just sa1 there Into the SA2. Bro, these rolly enemies need to like leave me alone for like more than two seconds. I thought bosses would spawn. I'm used to the uh, actual like big IT, to be honest. There we go. I mean, it, that was definitely very slow considering I was missing every strong attack, but let's just go here. I like this whole one. Her taking an entire mountain so she can be away from the uh, annoying Bambi girls. Makes sense. And then just crushing them with a rock basically, probably, maybe. But at 130, definitely not like anything insane. Uh, I'll probably try one more, go for a faster run, and then go to co-op IT and see how she performs there. Alright, so let's go on with the SA1. Also, I'm not like defending the SA2 or SA1. It's not like perfect or anything. But it definitely isn't like terrible. Especially because she it doesn't have to proc status on she doesn't have to do any of that nonsense. How did I miss that guy? 
Okay. I don't know how I missed that guy. That's crazy. Let's just go right here into the SA3. SA1, and then we can go with the SA2. Yeah. Like, if you know the enemy spawn, it's truthfully not that bad. Bop, bop, bop. Got the SA1. Let's go in here into the SA3. Ah, he jumped by me. Let's get the SA1 ready. There we go. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't have that insane range that I'm thinking it does, but... SA1 right there. Into the SA3. I keep jumping into their little spins. SA1. Ah, more. There you go. I mean, it feels faster, but who knows, to be honest. I mean, I assume it would. I was literally showing off strong attacks. I hate when I jump in and they roll and they immediately hit me. It's like, come on now. Get away from the front door. Yeah, 109. Not bad. The SA1 is definitely not, like, insane, but I, it's whatever. I don't mind it. I'll, I'll definitely get used to it and it's fine. Obviously, if it had Senju Maru's beam, perfect, but it is what it is. All right, we're loading in. Let's get it. Go with the SA1. I know this is itchy. There we go with the SA3. And with the barrier as well, it's going to be really nice to stay at full stamina. Just nad string down into the SA1. I probably should not have done that considering, yeah, it's the uh, range collision. SA3. Yeah, with the barrier, it's actually pretty nice because you can kind of just like wait a second, wait for them all to group up. In the SA2. Shoot this down there. Go right here into the SA3. Wait for them. Oh, SA1. Yeah, she cleans house. She does so much damage. She's, at, she's only at 1 out of 5. She doesn't have killer. It's not like I have her max transcended or anything. She does really, really well. So let's go right here. Did I? Oh, there's an enemy this way. Ooh, she almost cooked the uh, second boss down there. I saw his HP drop. Let's go down there. SA1 should be dead. Into the SA3. Yep. She She's doing really good. You just have to get used to the SA1 because it's not terrible. It has range. It'll definitely clear out a pretty big section. It's just unfortunate that it's not melee collision. If it was melee collision, it would be like... God tier. Ooh. Bop, bop, bop. No, Shinji's alive! Uh, I gotta get recharged in the SA1. SA3. There you go. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Especially with, like, other people in your lobby, they'll be cleaning up as well. Hopefully, otherwise, maybe they'll be re they'll really lag your game down. Ooh, she does not clear every enemy in here. Okay, that's good to know. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. These bosses took like no damage. I have no idea why only these bosses took no damage. Maybe just giving her weakened defense would be better than giving her full stamp. Yeah, cause like only this room was really annoying. I don't know why her soul bomb did no damage. I guess she does only have devastation of 60%. So it's nothing like insane. Or maybe you could give her the tension tie. Maybe I ended up giving her the tension tie. Two minute, really? It felt much faster than that. All right, jumping in. Go with the SA1, clean house, into the SA2. Let's go right here with the SA3, the SA1. Ah, I wasn't close enough. That's unfortunate. Otherwise, it would have been like super clean. And I'm gonna wait right here for the SA3. There we go. Down there, SA1, SA2. Into the SA1. Yep. Like, sh she does fine. She does really good. I like it. I also like the fruit on the uh, barrier. Uh, it's really nice. Did you dodge? Are you a uh, hidden enemy or something? Like, why did I not hit him? I feel like I should have. But who knows? Uh, let's go right here into the SA2, into the SA3. Because I know the eyes will cook me if I just, like, run in willy nilly. So I just didn't want to do that for obvious reasons. Don't really like getting cooked in IT. It happens too often on stream enough. Let's go right here. Lead you over here into the SA3. SA1. Wait for my SA2 to come back. SA1. Huh, maybe it doesn't have as much range as I th keep thinking it does. Because. Yeah, grab those. There we go. Yeah, I'm curious how the tension tile do. But like, the not having the strong attack damage item 
genuinely didn't change like a single thing. It still wasn't enough. That's an <laughs> that's unfortunate. Pop 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 pop. There we go. Yeah, it's still really clean. Maybe instead of full stam, you give her weak in defense as well. Maybe that'll allow it so that way she can she can nuke. I will say maybe if she got bombardment, yeah, 130, like almost a 30 second difference. Um, bombardment would have been really good because then obviously she probably could nuke through multiple waves, or if I just get her 2-5. But 1-5, no killer, 136, really really good. Obviously, Senju Maru's SA1 is incredible, is so much better, but. It's not a bad strong attack. It genuinely isn't. So, now in epic raids, that's a whole nother story. Let's go find out how it goes. All right, we're hopping in. I am loaded up with a bunch of other people. Kiski is in an insane harm right now, and I wish. Let's go with the SA2. And, okay, yeah. Obviously, I will say this. We do have the times three damage, so she is going to be doing absolutely insane damage. She doesn't have to rely on proccing his status ailment. Uh, if other people proc a status ailment, it'll probably absolutely destroy her damage. I would, oh. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fast. It's super clean. Oh, I don't even know what that was, but nice. Um, I, I I really like it. I really like your kit. I'll probably do one more co-op run with people, and then I'll do a solo run. But yeah, 21 drop. Like, dude, I wish you had droplets. <laughs> um, I'll do one run with a full room with potion link and whatnot because I have a full damage one. So obviously, yeah. Let's uh, let's see how it. All right, we are hopping in with a full lobby of maintenance, and uh, I have the droplet and whatnot links. Uh, do note that you should bring a Biakia pet link or pet uh, pet character, so that way you can see Biakia's traps. You see those purple squares? Sorry, it's going by really fast. We have a lot of damage cooking right now. Uh, it would probably be really nice for the solo run, but I don't know how well I'll do in the solo run because I'm pretty bad at dodging strong attacks in this game. It's like Elden Ring, but yeah. Really quick, 14 seconds, or 16 seconds, really easy. And uh, yeah, I, I, I really like her. I think she's, I don't think she's the best, obviously. I, I, I will never stand by that. I don't think she's the best, but like she's a really good farmer. Just sucks that she doesn't farm droplets. Her SA one's a bit iffy, obviously. It's not as like, it's not like optimal, but it's still good. It's still good. I've seen way worse. Um, I don't know why I'm saying this now. I'll go over this after I get done with this. Let me <laughs> let me try a solo run. I'm gonna fail so hard. All right, jumping in, jumping in. <laughs> uh, at this point, I'm not gonna be able to make it to the gym. I keep dying to the uh, stupidest, like that. I, I I can't tell that it's purple, man. It looks the same. There you go. Chunking him down, chunking him down. Okay, Bianca, just stand still, I guess. Bro just wants to get shot in the face. I mean. Oh, I was not full stamina, I just realized that is unfortunate. SA2. SA1. It is unfortunate this stuff on the ground still like does damage even through the uh, the barrier, which is like, okay, weird, but whatever, I guess. Let's get the SA3 into the SA1. SA1. Nope, nope, this one shot me last time, and then we jump inwards, and then we go for the full screen. There we go. I mean, 50 second clear with no status summons or anything. Not bad, not bad. No killer either, not bad. Took way too long for me to get it though, because I kept running into the one shot mechanic. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for the showcase. Let me know down below what you guys think, and I'll quickly go over my thoughts, even though I've done it like 10 times already. All right, and that is gonna wrap it up for the Menina showcase, and honestly, Outside of her SA1 and not having droplets, I think she's an absolutely insane character. Very, almost a perfect character because her SA2, it does not matter that it is a heal and barrier because she doesn't need to inflict status on it. So she, they're like the perfect characters to have barriers on their SA2 and it actually is really nice. I genuinely enjoy that she has a barrier. It makes it much easier in IT. You know, you're not going to get like nicked by, by, by like one little attack and lose your full stamina or anything. Uh, the only time I lost full stamina was when I tried to jump in and soul bomb and it was just really slow. Uh, outside of that, I think she's insane. She's a really good farmer. Unfortunately, she got gold drop. Uh, drop would have been better. Her SA1 is good, just not like ideal like Senju Maru's. Uh, but yeah, what more can I say? I think she's absolutely insane. And even if you don't like the character, you can at least put her on a link on like Yuha or Ishin 
or white or any of those characters if you just prefer their gameplay more or maybe you have them extra transcended or maybe you just might don't like using a farmer and you want to use your favorite character who knows um so yeah that's gonna do it let me know down below what you guys think take care and have an absolutely amazing day